Testing piss levels. Piss! Well, how wooed. Not my joke. Can't take credit for it. Are you a fan of Marmalade Game Studios? I'm not a fan of Marmalade, period. <laughs> Why? What did Marmalade do to you? I don't like Marmalade. <laughs> I mean, I love Paddington, but he has terrible taste in sandwiches. Why is there a shop? Because microtransactions, my guy, like, that's the bread and butter of gaming now. I guess. The last one had DLC. I just got, like, the, the fucking... The Epic edition. Crime Collection. Black Hat plus nine future crime scene suspects and related case files, plus more content. 60% off, too. Hmm. <sighs> At some point. Is that... Is that how you spell that? I just thought customized was spelled with a Z. It might be British. Ah, yeah. Fucking limeys. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I can remove people. Okay, right, so it's, you want to replace White? Uh, yeah, replace him with, uh, Mr. Green Zaddy. <laughs> um, and then Hot Milf Peacock. Yes. Wait, what is the... Okay, that's no, just editing them. Why is it, like, why is there, like, a separate edit button, but also you can just click on them? Because make it overly complicated for the normies. Eh. Oh, I see. That's what this is. So I guess when you when you get like the achievements, you unlock profile backgrounds and shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trying they're trying to prey on the completionist mindset, I guess. Yeah, they have you right where they want you. <laughs> Although, uh, I, d I thought this was a perfect avenue to complain about something, because I have something to complain about now. Okay. Um, so, you know, as we all know now, because everyone's going on the TikTok train of, like, oh, Facebook's doing reels and, you know, YouTube shorts and all that, so I was scrolling through one of them. I think it was on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it was a clip from the newest uh, Tomorrowverse movie, Justice League. Crisis on Infinite Earths, even though it's not a Justice League story, but that's not the point. Yeah, it's just because it's a name people recognize. Um, and it was it was a scene. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen a Tomorrowverse movie since Beware My Power. But I. Uh, so it was a scene where it was Dick Grayson from another universe uh, talking with the main universe, Batman. He's like, yes. "Hi, I'm Dick Grayson. Uh, you trained me." in another world and we were good friends and I was your protege and you were my father blah blah, blah all this really nice stuff mm -hmm. and and then of course the new fucking mindset because every, it's cool to hate Batman now and every nuance with the fucking character they're like they're like J Jensen Ackles Batman was like that seems irresponsible it's like no you just don't fucking understand the character of Batman you fucking idiots or maybe that alternate universe version of Batman hates kids well, well, it's just like it brings up the idea of like this similar shit of like, oh, uh, like, oh, Batman just beats up mentally ill people and doesn't do anything for Gotham type shit. Where it's just like, oh, he brought a fucking nine year old into, you know, crime fighting. He's such a fucking asshole. It's like, no! Happily redirect you to the most famous line from Young Justice. Where Wonder Woman, who was being a cunt for no fucking reason, was like, "Oh, you brought Robin into the age of cri into the crime fighting at the ripe old age of nine. He's like, he needed to bring his family to justice so that he'd end up like you. No, so that he fucking wouldn't. That's the whole fucking point. Batman is a broken character. He's a broken man who's dealing with a lot of shit and the things he's trying to do right. He's trying so that he doesn't." So other people surrounding him don't have to deal with the pain that he has dealt with his entire fucking life. So people wouldn't be like him. That's why he adopts these children. Is it the best thing to do? No, but the thing is, that's the whole point of subtlety and nuance and complicatedness and shades of gray. You fucking idiots. Stop going with the Twitter mob who doesn't know anything about these fucking characters. You're all just stupid. Jesus Christ. I'm mad. Stop misrepresenting Batman! I'm sick of it! 
I'm putting that on TikTok, just so you know. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> People need to know that they're fucking idiots. Ooh, he just beats up mentally ill. Yeah. And some mentally ill people deserve to be beat up. I'm just saying, the ones who want to, you know, fucking murder thousands of people and are, you know, terrorists. Sometimes they deserve to fucking be beat up. I'm not talking about just the average Joe who has depression. Obviously, he doesn't need to be beat up. I'm just saying, like, Jesus Christ. You don't know anything about the complicated nature of this fucking character. Stop acting like you are just because you watched The Dark Knight once 15 years ago. Stop talking! Well. Sorry, I needed to get that out. I, and I, I, I could tell. And I felt that this was a perfect avenue to do that because it's entertaining. <laughs> it is. I liked that Robin was voiced by Steven Universe. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, good for him. Even though his character is almost certainly going to die. <laughs> yeah. Because it's Earth 2. Yeah, with the best uh, Robin suit of all time. Yes, but not the one he was wearing. I know. I would love if he was wearing that suit. That is like, it's so good. It's so bad, but it's so good. <laughs> Take a pee at my cock. <laughs> Wouldn't it be peek at your cock? <laughs> yeah, but her name isn't Peek Cock. Unless you know, if, if she feels the need to well, you know, while things are happening, she wants to take a pee on the cock, you know? If we're in the shower, fine. You do you. I mean, we all know what squirting really <laughs> is. I mean, come on now. You, oh, I, oh, I'm hot. I'm sexy. I'm co no, we know it's pee. Like, we know it's pee. It's fine. We just don't talk about it. You could do whatever you want just to, you know, feel better. All that shit in the bedroom. That's cool. We know it's pee. We know it's pee. It's fine. Shattering the illusion for all those poor innocents. Yeah, it's like, and I hate to break it to you, fake taxi, also not real. I apologize. <laughs> Jesus. I know. It's... You're just going off today. <laughs> She's like, gotta destroy this, gotta destroy that. I'm not destroying Batman, I'm, I'm protecting <laughs> Batman from idiots. Now, my bigger issue with that movie, because I actually watched it, was uh, that they imply the reason that Bruce took Dick in is because Barry suggested it. Sure. Like, I, so that's my issue with it. They, DC just needs to stop riding Barry's cock. It's not worth it. It's all, it has caused more harm than good since they started doing it. Yeah, I blame Dan DiDio because fuck that guy. He's like, I remember a time when Barry Allen was still dead and I want to go back. <laughs> like, that's the thing. There's like, I, I, I was actually reading comics as a small child. I remember a time when Tim Drake was still Robin and Damian Wayne was just an awkward reference from a one shot no one remembered. Good times. And Wally West was the Flash. Yeah. Donna Troy's backstory was slightly less complicated than it is now. It was less complicated than it is now? Well, because it's only gotten more... I remember a time before, you know, graduation day happened. That made it more complicated. They've retconned it, like, at least two or three times since then. The further back you go, the less complicated it is. Originally, it was just she was a baby Wonder Woman rescued from a fire. That was it. And that was all we needed. But no... Alright, so wait, what, what fucking room are we in? Okay, we're in the kitchen. kitchen. So, Mustard, Revolver, Sochek. What we accused last time. Perfect. Uh, God damn it. So the field is narrowing. I am so sure people are going to take my mentally ill rant out of context. I can't wait. What do you mean? Like, uh, me being like, oh, some mentally ill people need to be beat up. <laughs> you know, facts are facts. I'm mentally ill. I need to be beat up. Yes, we all know. So, <laughs> case in point, perfect example. But it's like, it's just interesting how people are like, oh... One, the whole thing of, like, Batman doesn't do anything anything for Gotham. That's just wrong. Yeah. That's literally wrong. Like, he does so much for Gotham. But the problem is, but the thing that people don't realize is that Gotham is so fucking innately corrupt that just pouring money into the problem is not gonna do much. Like, I know that's gonna shatter the illusion 
for, you know, Twitter, where he's throwing money at the problem, not gonna do a whole lot when the system is that innately corrupt. Sure, Bruce Wayne can do a lot, and he does do a lot. He does the Thomas and Martha Wayne Foundation, he helps Leslie Tompkins, he helps all these people, but it's just, sometimes, it just, in this universe, it isn't enough. So he has to become Batman, and, you know, stop the Joker as much as he can. I know you bring in the whole thing of like, oh, why not just kill the Joker? Right, that's a whole another can of worms for another day. But it's, you know, it's like, oh, he does nothing. No, you're you're just stupid. That's... Does he, on, on the point of why doesn't he just kill the Joker, Linkara actually made a really good point about that. Why is Batman exclusively to blame for that? What about all the cops that are watching him from the point, like, while he's in Arkham? What about all the doctors and orderlies? There's hundreds of other people who have ample opportunity to do it, and they don't. That's fair. Why is it on Batman just because he's the one that stops him from doing what he's doing? That's fair. Contribute. Also, any, anyone who, like, writes a Batman thing, they should just, like, before doing anything, be required to watch Year One and Under the Red Hood. Just to, like, be like, this is Batman. Do this. <laughs> Simple crash course. I'm just surprised you're giving Frank Miller any credit. What? Year one is good! Like, just, like just, it was before he went nuts. Well, to be fair, Dark Knight Returns was before he went nuts, and you hate that. No, I don't. Well, you hate half of it. Yeah, because the latter half sucks. The first half is good. I wouldn't I wouldn't advise it as an entry point for getting into Batman, but it's good. That's why I literally, with the movies, just watch part one. Part two is complete. It's just, no. And also, you know, Frank Miller hating the character of Superman, but that's the That, like, yeah, it produced one of the best Batman speeches of all time, but that's the only good part of it. Otherwise, it's just Superman's an asshole, and then the Joker either kills himself or it's implied Batman might have done it in, like, a psychotic stupor. Either way, not good. <laughs> Fair enough. And it spawned a multitude of shit sequels that no one wanted or asked for. Yeah. And... It just the whole thing with Dark Knight Strike. Oh, you know, Dick Grayson became the Joker because Batman called him a, a retard and had him eat live rats in the Batcave. You see, that's the thing. When you factor for the fact that he wrote Al Al Asbar within the mindset of, oh, this is the same character, it makes it a lot worse. And also, he put Flash in short shorts for some reason. I mean, we all want to see that. Eh. Okay, I can't really... I, wait, oh! I figured We figured out the lounge is the one that it was in. Okay, I'll just stay here. And I can narrow it down. Oh, and the lead pipe. Yeah, I figured out that a while ago. Alright, so it's either green... I've been, like, half paying attention. I'm sorry. It's, it's Okay, well, we'll see if it's Peacock. I'll give her a gun. Hot. Damn it. Alright, so it's either... It's white or green. I'm hoping it's green. Just to prove you wrong and that people with tattoos can change. What the fuck did I say <laughs> that? Don't, bu don't push me in with my parents, though. People with tattoos are evil. <laughs> fuck you! I am the complete opposite of that demographic! <laughs> then why were you judging white so hard? No, it's just like, it, I just thought it was funny that it's just like, because the thing is, in the original version, Mrs. White, well, at least in the version that I had as a kid, I'll say She's you, the maid. Uh, yeah, she's the maid. She's like this little cute old lady who, oh, she committed murder. It's so, so pretty. But, like, it's just so far from that. Not like that's a bad thing, but so far different that it's just like homely maid older woman who maybe committed murder to generic woman who looks like Ruby Rose has tattoos. <laughs> like, it's just like it's very different. Not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying it's so far gone. But hey, they also made Scarlet Black, and you know... That, in, damn it, okay, we know it's white. Insert joke here. Never mind, you were right about her all along. She was trash and will never change. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Why do you gotta put words in my mouth? Because <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, come on. You, I believe Thanks. that a cook okay. kills people, because cooks are fucking insane. And I'm not saying that because she has tattoos. I'm just saying, you know. Whatever you need to tell yourself. Have you ever met a line cook? Those guys are 
to fucking murder you there. I know. I stare. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is, like... What is the... Why... How is this... Like, okay, so it, you got the right cards and made a correct... Why is that... How? What the, what the, what's the point of the points? So you can buy stuff with points. You don't. Um, because it's tethering onto the idea of arcade... Arcades way back in the day where it was all purposeful to get a high score, so they're trying to tether onto that for some reason. I guess it's because they have this weird pseudo-achievement thing. It's like, oh, get enough points on this thing, which, like, why? Enter at least six rooms in a single game. By force. Uh, you you want to try? Yeah, sure. E. Okay. You want to do Two Door Mansion, or you want to try the Black Adder Resort? If Rowan Atkinson shows up, sure, but I don't think he does, so I'm going to go to Twitter. <laughs> I'm gonna go one more. Ooh. Alright, let's go with... I'm gonna go with Mustard. Because I like his stash. And then we're gonna go with Zaddy Green. And then we'll go with Titty Peacock. And there we go. <laughs> Bringing back the Colonel. The gangbang with the Colonel. I mean, if you want. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind getting spit roasted by Colonel Mustard and Zaddy Green. No, whoever whoever gets accused goes to jail, and the rest have a celebratory three-way. <laughs> I'd I'd take that. I hope Peacock doesn't go to jail now. Well, now you've now you've jinxed it. Now she's absolutely the one going to jail. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Cool. okay, so it's not it's not Zaddy Green. Just, <laughs> you started it. I'm just going along with it. Okay. Also, oh, I told I, <laughs> just the animation of her going smack into the wall. She's a Pokemon character. Peacock, peacock. That's just all you. Peacock, cock, cock, pee. All right. All I can go is in the ballroom. Even do we have that? No. No, we don't. Okay. We so have the conservatory, the kitchen, and the library. And then we know it's not green and it's not the dagger. Okay. What do you think? Well, what I, what I usually do is, since we don't know if it's the ballroom, I would use green, accuse green with the conservatory. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Or with the, uh, with the dagger. That way, like, we can clear the room. Or confirm the room, if no one has it. Damn it! Fuck you, Peacock. No. She's our girl. Don't say that. I love her with all my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but, uh, the, the other day I was telling someone about our conversation about the Midnight Sun's lack of romance options. Yeah. If you recall. Yeah, me, you, and Sal just being like, what? Because well, it's like, really, they should add that when they make the second one. And I, like, I told them, like, no, let me, don't pull that Persona 5 shit where I have consequences for trying to date multiple people. Let me have the super harem ending. <laughs> they were like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I like giving players choices. Is that so wrong? Oh, they just suggested what we suggested, so I'm putting them on the wrong track. <laughs> there's, there's one game I want to like uh, try at some point soon. Is that one? It's like I forget what it was called. That new like indie horror thing with the shotgun. Like, hobo, shot with, hobo with a shotgun? No, it was like shotgun roulette or some shit. Okay. It's it's literally just you go into a room okay. and play Russian roulette with a shotgun. Uh, so he either has Scarlet or the Rope. Well, yeah. Uh, or the, or the diamond. He, has one, he potentially has all of them. Damn. Okay, I thought we had the diamond. My bad. No. And now we've been moved. I would love to see, like, a, a version of this where it's, like, done at, like, a music conservatory, and so all the weapons are instruments. That would be awesome. <laughs> like, oh, you beat someone to death with a violin. Uh, Choke them with, like, the trombone slide. Uh, okay, so since we're in the dining room, might as well stay here. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's suggest... Do we want to stick with Scarlet and the rope, or do we want to go with something else? Well, if we don't know what that, if, what, who has the dining room, then I would say go with Green and the dagger again and do the dining room. But this is your playthrough, so, you know, you do whatever you think you want to do. I'm gonna go with one... I'm gonna go with... Because then if, if, if they don't give you if they, if they give you the rope, then you're gonna have to come back to the dining room anyway. Yeah, so now you're gonna come back to the dining room. 
That's why I do it the way I do it. I'm trying to be like as efficient as possible. Yeah. Then once yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm just so used to like give like getting multiple cards that. Yeah. I'm just I'm just in that mindset. And it's just like once Which you once like you so once you clear dumb. out the rooms, you could be like, okay, I have to bounce between these ones. Maybe the in, the maybe stuff. in the fast paced game they give you multiple cards. Maybe I, I would I, I that wouldn't surprise me because that's how I all I. That could be why it's called game. card mode or whatever. Maybe. We could try it if we have time. Yeah. What did Peacock suggest? Fuck, I just missed it. Damn it. I told you I'm not good at Clue. <laughs> oh, also, you know, I watched this, like, terrible movie the other day. Mm. It was called Bitch, but with an exclamation oh, point it. instead of the I. Uh, hold on, who did it? Oh, this is your, you, you accused? Okay. Uh, no, no, he, uh, Green, I had to give him his card. Okay. So he knows I have it. But, uh... I, it was a uh, sub bitch, but with an exclamation point instead of an I. And it was one of those movies. It was suggested to me because you know on like on like Facebook and stuff, they have like those clips of movies. And it's like, oh, look at this fun movie thing. Go watch oh, it. Oh yeah, the fucking thing with the dog. Yeah, it's like the clip that it showed me was like yeah, a dad, you shared that. I remember that. Yeah, it was like a dad wakes up one day and his kids like, hey, dad, mom's here. You got to get us all to school. And he's like a high, you know, high power business guy. So he doesn't know how to you know raise children. Yeah. In the year of our Lord 2017. And so he's just like scrambling for everything. And I was like, oh, like it was, it was listed as a comedy. So what I was expecting was like, oh, the, the mom's a dog. Ha ha. And then oh, here's a montage. The dad trying to walk the mom and she's like pulling him. His boss is coming to dinner and she sniffs his butt. And it was like, oh, take it. No, kids. I <laughs> looked it up, and it's like the most yeah. insane, fucked up <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was, that was, Literal that was, shit. You no, know, I was expecting, oh, kids, stop playing fetch with your dog, mom. And then at the end, his big presentation's coming up, and he just can't handle it anymore. And he goes, I guess being a mom is a real job. And then she immediately snaps out of it and fixes everything. No. <laughs> She just she tries to kill herself at the start of the movie and just has a psychotic break, thinks she's a dog, spends most of the movie in the basement covered in her own feces, and he just yep. increasingly gets drunk until eventually her family tries to sue him for guardianship. I was like, what the fuck is this movie? Why is this listed as a comedy? What uh, was funny about this? Uh, I don't know. Mentally unstable women. Oh, isn't that funny? I guess. I especially expected it to be funny because the dude playing the husband slash dad was Dipper from Gravity Falls. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this should be fun. No. And on top of that, it was just a bad movie. It wasn't entertaining. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Through, like, most of it. Yeah, see, no, I, I, yeah, see, that's the problem. Once uh, I was like, I thought... Uh, no, once they've me. shown you a thing, they can just show it to you again. Ah, damn it, I'm still... I'm, I'm, like, so tired right now. <laughs> uh, fuck me. <laughs> see, I said I'm not good at Clue. <laughs> and the thing is, I still can't wrap my head around the fucking stupid rules in this game. <laughs> Gotta get good. I know, get good, scrub. This is very sweaty. It shouldn't be. Okay, Scarlet Revolver Conservatory from Green. Hmm. And uh, we, we know he doesn't have the revolver, and we have the conservatory. Uh, okay, so he has Scarlet. Yes. Awesome. Okay, very good. And you gotta manually cross out Scarlet. And you might want to put like the X on on the, the other two just to like make sure you remember. Yeah. Just for my dumb ass, just gotta really show. Hey, fuck nugget, <laughs> don't do it like that. Well, you know, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Cock peas turn. <laughs> That's what my friend calls uh, the streaming service. Pika. No, he calls it cock pea. Cock pea. <laughs> he, he calls it or like something along those lines, like dick urine. Just, I'm like, okay, Mark, you're not funny. <laughs> uh, he, he, I forget, he, he's the one who said Taika, uh, Taika White Titties, yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was definitely one of his best moments. You want to plug, you know, your thing? Uh, well, the last time I tried to plug my thing, you fucking shit on me, and then you censored it. <laughs> Did I? 
I, yeah, when we played Monopoly. It was funny. <laughs> you can do it now, and I definitely won't censor it. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, the Cool Kids movie reviews. Uh, go subscribe. Uh, do it. We just posted our review a couple days ago of Bob Marley, One Love. I know nobody cares about Oh, that, that came movie. out? Yeah, okay, I it came out on Valentine's Day. Uh, that, I, I but nobody that. cared about it because the greatest cinematic achievement that has come out this year thus far, Madam Web, also came out on Valentine's Day. So <laughs> I still gotta see both. All right. uh, so, so we know it's not the ballroom or the conservatory. So we lounge. can go into the lounge because it has the fancy door, the trap door. We're, we're shifting into Leisure Suit Larry in the land of the lounge lizards. Of course. <laughs> really, got we gotta start doing the Leisure Suit Larrys. Yeah, that would be fun. Because I have all of them. I know. So, like, do. why not? Okay, so lounge... As we all know, wet dreams don't dry. Okay, so let's do shit that I have and not be an idiot again. Uh, uh what do I have? I have? Dagger. The dagger. Yeah, the only ones you can use without risk of them repeating are the ones that you have and the ones that you know no one has. Okay, so he present. did have the lounge. Okay, hmm. so let me... Uh, mm-hmm. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> this, I just noticed like this. I have a little who did it with what and, and where. It just reminded me of one of my favorite bits from uh, the Master of Disguise. I say who, why, where, how. I say who, why, where, how. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> it, it, it's terrible, but I loved it as a kid, so I still love it. Yeah. And it's fun. It's it's retarded, but it's fun. I guess. I but, mean, I liked it as a kid, too. Plus, they, they got the mom from Wizards of Waverly Place with the mama caboose. <sighs> she's still hot. Like, she, she oh, yeah, still, fucking she, easily. She can Are still get it. Me? <laughs> I didn't realize she was, you know, hot girl on Justice League Unlimited. I know most people don't. It's always funny. Oh, speaking of, though, speaking of Wizards of Waverly Place, apparently it's coming back. Yeah. They're doing a revival. I'm excited. That's mostly just because I love Selena Gomez. So it's like, yes. Yeah. Like Going I'm, I'm, from Only Murders and then back to Waverly Wiz Wizards. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. It's fine. Now uh, they're doing both. And so I would love if they have Steve Martin and Martin Short show up in one episode. They could do it. I would love for that to happen. I need to watch it. I'm go it's on the list. I need to watch Only Murders in the Building. It's so good. I, I, as I mentioned, I started watching Peacemaker. Because I'm like, yeah, there's only one season. There's eight episodes. It's fine. It, like because it's what it, you have to watch it from the mindset of it's bad on purpose because that is kind of like the point like all of them are terrible intentionally no I know although I, I won't argue the best part of it is the theme song which they're which they're it's, changing it's which... it's it's grown on me like I I I I'm like okay this is this one. it's just the only thing that the way uh, Jennifer Holland, uh, the chick who plays Amelia Harker, the way she, it just like... Is that the blonde? Yeah. Okay. The way she dances, it's just like, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit too cringe for my liking, but everything else is really no, The good. part where like, they do the this thing and the hands over that part. Yeah, it's a little bit too <laughs> yeah. cringe, but like outside of that, it's pretty good. Fuck! No, Alright, I guess I'll stay in the lounge. No, my favorite part is when the little old man comes and he's like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also... Although wait. I do like seeing the T-1000 hump the camera. That's also pretty good. <laughs> Which one is the the T-1000? That's uh, his dad. Oh, wait, he was the T-1000? Yeah, that's uh, Robert Patrick. I don't know how I don't know that. Okay. Okay. Now, see, I, I always so... just associate him as Cabe from Scorpion. That's like the one thing I know him from. <laughs> okay. And it's, it's that's another one. It's such a good show. Uh, let's do the dagger, because I want to see if it's white or not. Now, that, that made watching that show kind of difficult for me. <laughs> Because it's like, you know, there's some actors, you just associate them with that one role in your head, so it's like, they are that person. <laughs> and so for him, with him, that's the one role, so I was like, Cabe, why are you a Nazi? Don't do Nazi stuff. You're better than this. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I know him as a bad guy, so it's yeah. fine. And I mean, there's like kind of racist shit with like the Skynet because they're racist against humans. I don't know if that, that's not really a race thing. I don't know. But you, it's like you genocidal things. I feel like in this day and age with like the rise of AI and everything, which that movie was trying to warn us about anyway, you could make an argument. Okay, so Peacock either has 
She definitely doesn't have white. Uh, if she had, no, so she, she has to have the wrench. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, because we have the conservatory. Yeah, we have the conservatory, and she doesn't have that, so yeah, it must be the wrench. So let me... I don't know why I've got now. <laughs> the fucking butt rock theme from Peacemaker shifted in my head to pour some sugar on me, because I started thinking about the, the fucking dance scene from Balls of Fury. Okay. I thought you meant, like, oh, the porn stars that were in the music video for the NSP version. No. <laughs> just, I will never not associate that song with Balls okay, of Fury. So... Which reminds me, that's something we should play on here. Um, okay, we have the dagger. That was it. Yeah. Uh, but Barroom. She has... Okay, so we are... So everything we know... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Right, that's another thing. I have Balls of Fury both on the DS and on the Wii. Why? Because I love that movie. It's so good! I'll take your word for it. Fucking Christopher Walken playing an Asian guy! It's hilarious! I don't know, it wasn't as hilarious as Max von Sydow unironically playing an Asian guy in Flash Gordon. True. I was like, wait, his name's Fang? I've been calling him Fang this whole time! <laughs> it's just funny! Or you fucking Diedrich Vader's in it! Alright, fine, I'll have to I, I'm, I'm manipulating your weakness! He plays a hooker! Nice. <laughs> Who stays up playing Boggle with Randy! Then he tries to save a panda. He's like, as the whole, like, you know, action movie, all the bases explode. He's like, I'm gonna save the panda. Panda's dead. And he runs. <laughs> it's just, uh, I love him. <laughs> he's just the best. That's why he's also in Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> he's in so many things. He even reprised his role for the Napoleon Dynamite animated series. So we don't know the dining room, so let's see. Oh, he doesn't have it. Ooh. Oh, it's the dining room! Yeah! Now we know. Now we can stop checking rooms. Thank God. One, two, three. Mm. So it's either... I th I think... So it's either the lead pipe or the candlestick. And then... Or the, or the revolver. Nobody's guessed the mustard. Hmm. Or that was the one thing. That, uh, mustard or plum? It could be the revolver, though, because uh, we, we only suspect mustard has it. We don't know. That's fair. Okay, uh, which one should I get? Should I get the uh, we have most of the rooms, so it would take a while for them to really build that up. So. Gotcha. Off the back board. That's, that's another thing. I, got, I, got get the, um, I have Dolphin on here, so we can play it on an emulator. Uh, we go the dolphin. No, dolphin is the name of the GameCube Wii emulator. Oh, but I do. I'm... I do actually have Echo the Dolphin two up there. It's in the That's box. That's why I was like, I mean, if you want to play Echo the Dolphin, no, we, we could because I not. I have an original oh, copy. Wait, but... uh, mustard revolver hall. Uh, so. He, so she has the. She either has the hall or the yeah. Okay. But no, because I, I have a, a physical copy of Echo the Tides of Time, which is the second one. Then I also have both the Genesis collection on PS2 and the one on Steam, so that has all of them. Echo, Echo the Tides Aren't of Time, and Echo Jr. Ooh, Green's accusation is incorrect. His green plans have been foiled. Um, are, and isn't, like, the Echo the Dolphin games, like, notoriously extremely difficult? Uh, that's what I've heard. I played a little bit of it when I was a kid. I never got super into it because I was bored by it, but, eh. We're not afraid to use walkthroughs on this channel. We don't care. It's like we're, and we actually watch the tutorials. Hey, we're, we're here to fuck around and have fun. We're not trying to be like, oh, we're the hardcore gamers. We're not the completionists. <laughs> fucking care. Because it was, wasn't the completionist, like, oh, didn't he also, like, sexually assault people or something? I don't pay attention to that shit. He might have. I never watched him anyway. I don't know. He was it, I, he was one of the guys from Normal Boots, I think, so... The only person from Normal Boots I ever watched was Jontron. Which, isn't he also a white supremacist? I don't even know. I remember when the accusations went around. I've seen things that said, yes, he was. Others that said, no, he just said stuff because he's an idiot. I don't know. It is what it is. I like to believe he's just an idiot. Yes, exactly. I like, I like John Tron too much. And I still watch him anyway, but I, wa I watch him with an ad blocker on so he doesn't get money from it, so it's fine. Well, I have to put in that. Well, um, what, was, what was the ad blocker you used again? That always... Adblock Plus. Adblock. Is it? Because I have Adblock Plus and now it doesn't work because, you know, 
YouTube being assholes. It's still, it still it, it it did it didn't work on mine for a while, then it started working again. So I don't know. I also use ExpressVPN. That also okay, so it might so. be uh, it could be one could be both. She definitely doesn't have white. She so she has tall. Oh, that's not helpful for us because. Well, no, but still, it's one. We it's like you know, it still narrows down what cards she has. Because she can only have four, and now we know three. Because if you figure out all the cards she has, then you can block out all the other squares. Library. We have the library. Bowden Black, or whatever his name is, looks kind of like a low Fuck. rent. He looks like a low rent Sebastian Shaw. As in Winter Soldier? No. Oh. The uh, X Men villain. Oh, okay. So that's Sebastian Stan. Again, I'm yeah. tired. It's fine. <laughs> I think it's only, it's only in my head because I was watching that video earlier about, like, shitty comic book games. Uh, okay, which one? Uh, we don't have... Billiard Room. Yeah. That's what I So, we can actually, you know, that we knock that one off or, you know, potentially get something else. Okay, so Dagger, Green... He has the Billiard Room. Great. Alright, now we know two of his cards. I don't think so. Yeah, it, it automatically does it. The still is the same music from the last one, which is good because it's it's got like solid soundtrack. Yeah. I do wonder if they're gonna bring back the uh, the Sherlock Holmes DLC. I mean, that would work. <laughs> or the international one, so I can play as Monsieur Brown. It's also weird they don't have or they don't have orchid. This orchid for the most part is like kind of replaced Mrs. White in like a lot of the newer ones. Uh, let's uh, do conservatory since we have that yeah. one and we know the room, so we can like knock off some people and weapons. Uh, so which one you want to try and knock off? It doesn't really matter at this point. I would want to confirm White. Yeah, that's fair. White and the revolver. White and the revolver. Dan. Dan. Yo, now we okay. There we go. I love when that happens. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go. I remember there was one time I fucking got, I uh, playing the, uh, the other version. I got like all three on my first <laughs> on my first guess. And like, ah, I love it when a plan comes together. And the dining room. Also, see, you're white. It was she did it again. Fucking bitch. Got and, she, out of and, prison, she, and she's got a gun. Got out of prison and fucking did it again. And she got a gun just like a hoodlum. You gotta click the Mickey. Yeah. -na -na -na. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if this version has trading cards or not. I think it does. I don't remember. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but he got three thousand. Boom. What? It says win one. Oh, it's yeah. It says one. Oh, it has to be in the black adder. That's why. Okay. I think that's good for now. Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, we, we solved a bunch of murders. Yeah, boy. See all you lovely people next murder. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I got a hawk. Fuck you. <laughs>